Is that his son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad. You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. This happened. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? Fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. Oh, I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mothering now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. I've really been meaning to clean the place. There's more blood over here. Oh? Really? Yeah, still fresh. Well, like I told you, I cut me hand. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. If you're gonna say something, out with it. Wait, you cut your hand? You told me before that you cut your foot. Yeah, no, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> A ruinous flip of events, really. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. 
Dog trimming a little accident. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, no. I... There's marks here on the window, so... And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. There's a mark over here, too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it's over here. Just as from... I did some... ...fucking cares. Though most people think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises on his arms. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought it up. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. I think my junior has a crush on your girl. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. <laughs> Toad, I know you're lying about the lamp. The lamp fell is all. I bumped it. Coming coming in from the, the the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and threw the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? And why's the lock busted? Eh? Huh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, a fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. 
Why'd you climb in through the window, then? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon, just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby, there wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here, in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? I cut me end. I broke the lamp. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Don't make it a dilemma. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. 